What's up guys, my name is Nam and on this channel I typically talk about personal finance and recently I've just been covering a lot of things about unemployment and all the things that are related to the stimulus package. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. So in this video I want to cover everything that you need to know about the extra $600 a week unemployment benefit, whether or not there will be an extension. If any of you guys are currently on unemployment right now, this is going to be a very important video for you guys since the additional $600 a week unemployment benefit will end on July 31st or July 25th depending on the last week payout for your state unemployment benefits. As of right now, there's still many unemployed Americans that are still collecting unemployment, depending on what stats you look at, it ranges anywhere between 11 to 13%. Just to put things into perspective, prior to the whole COVID situation, the unemployment rate was sitting around 3.5%. And if you're eligible for unemployment right now, you can receive $600 on top of your state unemployment. So for example, if you live in the state of California, the maximum per week is $450, if you receive an extra $600 a week, you can essentially receive $4,200 per month. Since this program is due to end by the end of this month, if Congress does not do anything or have any sort of plans on how they want to deal with unemployment, it can have significant financial impacts on individuals who rely on the extra $600. The reality is that it will not only affect individuals, but also economies and also businesses nationwide. So first off, let's talk about the arguments against unemployment benefits. So there are many people in Congress that are totally against the idea of extending the unemployment benefits. Probably the biggest argument against this is that they think that extending unemployment benefits is too much of an incentive and it would prevent people from returning back to work. While this is not completely untrue because there has been research that showed about two thirds of all individuals who are on unemployment right now or receiving way much more money than they were working regularly. So in addition to that, the way that the federal unemployment compensation program works, which is the additional $600 a week for regular unemployed individuals, a lot of states are not requiring individuals to look for work while they're unemployed right now. One can see this as a huge disadvantage due to the fact that individuals are not required to look for work while receiving unemployment. All they really have to do is just be eligible and be ready to return for work when an employer does call them back or if they are permanently laid off, they technically do not have to look for work while they're receiving benefits. So there has been many proposals that have a return back to work incentive where it would provide individuals with a certain amount of money that would get them back to work. So recently there was a proposal that would give $450 per week in bonuses for individuals who would return back to work before July 31st. Since it's way too close towards that date, there is no likelihood of this ever happening. And plus for individuals who would return back to work, I think it would just be an awkward situation where individuals who've been working there this whole time and now receiving a bonus, meanwhile a person who just signed on is getting much more money than the person who was working there the whole time. So meanwhile there are many individuals in Congress that do want to extend the federal unemployment benefits. If any of you guys have been following the news, more and more states are continuing to open up their business but there also has been record breaking new COVID cases all around the country. So instead of flattening the curve, it seems like the numbers are continuing to grow once again. So if more cases are beginning to happen, more locals and state government officials are pressured to reclose their doors for businesses and extend stay at home orders. So another case to extend unemployment benefits is due to the lack of jobs. This is the one time that there is not a lack of trained employees, but there's just a lack of businesses since there are many of them that were forced to close. So there has been research done by the University of Chicago that showed about 42% of all jobs lost through April 25th due to COVID-19 will be permanent. They also reported that unemployment will be a problem for quite some time, so it's going to plague the economy for months if not years. There has also been many economists that said that unemployment assurance or unemployment benefits is really effective against fighting economic crisis during a recession. In fact, it is estimated during the economic downturn Every $1 increase in unemployment insurance generates $1.64 in gross domestic product. So now let's talk about what are the current proposals to keep federal unemployment benefits coming. Probably the biggest proposal that came out recently was the HEROES Act, which was a bill that was passed by the House Democrats and it would extend unemployment benefits till the end of this year. But ever since it was passed by the House Democrats, there really has not been that much movement on it. So recently within the last week, some of the Democrats proposed an extension to the unemployment benefits titled the American Workforce Rescue Act. So in a nutshell, this would extend the extra $600 a week unemployment benefits all the way up to March 27th of 2021. So how this proposal would work is that unemployment benefits will be tied to a specific tier depending on the state unemployment levels. So meaning that the benefit amounts are adjusted according to the fluctuating economic conditions. So while unemployment rates are high, enhanced unemployment benefits will be higher. 
If unemployment rates go down, then the extra incentive for unemployment will be lower until it gets phased out. So with this proposal, the $600 a week increase in unemployment compensation will stay in place until the state three month average total unemployment levels fall below 11%. So in addition to that, they also included benefits for the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, which provides coverage for self-employed individuals, gig workers, and people who are not typically eligible for traditional unemployment benefits. They would also extend their unemployment benefits all the way up to March 27th of 2021, regardless of the state unemployment rate. He also noted that the enhanced benefits will stay in place until the state unemployment rates drop below 5.5%. So for any qualifying individual, they can receive anywhere from $600, which is a maximum, to $100, which is a minimum, depending on the current state unemployment levels. So as of right now, there are no laws in place that will extend the extra $600 a week unemployment benefit. So a special day to make note of is July 20th. That's when all the lawmakers will be back in Washington to decide on the fifth stimulus package. So if they do decide or agree upon one, let's see if they extend unemployment benefits and if there will be another stimulus check. All right guys, so that pretty much does it for me. If you guys haven't already, make sure you give this video a like because that really helps support the channel. And if you want to hang out with me some more, check out my videos over here.